What's going on YouTube? My name is Darian and of course I am the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I cover fashion and fragrance on this channel. So if you're interested in uh, fashion or fragrance, I hope you don't mind consider subscribing to the channel. And also make sure uh, you don't forget to hit the bell icon as well. Uh, that way when I upload new content on YouTube, you get notified. So guys, on today's video I have something that is what I consider to be very special. Uh, for any of you that's been following my channel for any length of time, you would probably are aware of the fact that I love the House of Amwash. I've done several videos uh, featuring the brand uh, where I've talked about some of my favorite fragrances uh, in the collection and of all of my niche fragrances, this is a brand uh, that is definitely in my top three as it relates to the number of fragrances I have from Amwash. Now I have purchased all of these fragrances uh, with the exception of maybe one or two. Uh, so that just shows you how much I love the brand. In one of my last videos on this brand, I talked about my, and I kind of ranked my, my entire Unwash collection from my least favorite to my most favorite. And if you have not seen that video, I'll make sure I link it up here. That way you can check that video out. But today I have something very special for you guys. Unwash has released a new sample set of fragrances called the Collector's Edition. Uh, it comes in four different uh, presentations and they sent were nice enough to send one to me, and the one that I have is called Pegasus. Let's take a look at this, guys, this box. It's Pegasus, it has, Pegasus, it has a horse on the front, and inside this box, there are 45 two ML samples across the entire range of Amwash fragrances. There are 15 from the men's range, there are 15 from the women's uh, range, and also 15 of their universal uh, fragrances as well that include things like uh, the uh, library collection and other fragrances as well uh, material crimson rocks you know that collection of fragrances as well there are 15 and also this is what I'm most excited about four unreleased fragrances that are going to be released here soon from the brand of Amway so I'm super excited to dig into this box and see what is on the inside so if you guys are excited as I am to see what's inside this box, then you guys know the routine. Keep it locked right here. Sky. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. We're going to jump into the video. So this new sample uh, sampler set from Amwaj, as I said, comes in four different presentations. I think one is called Ursa Major. One is called, of course, Pegasus, which is the one that I have. Uh, one is called, I think it's called Singus. Singus, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And there's one more, uh, let me see what that one's called. One is called Taurus. So, you know, again, different presentations, but they all have the same fragrances on the inside. But let's take a closer look at the one that I have here, which is called Pegasus. Now, look at the box, guys. Again, I showed you this earlier, but look at the box. It's beautiful, it has a, the horse on the front, um, and it says gift. Again, there's 45 different samples in here, two ML samples. Uh, on the side here, it says, I'm wise, gift of kings. And I'll probably do some nice B-roll so I can probably pick this up a little bit better. Uh, and on the front, it says sampler set and a nice silver plate on the front. Now, when you open this box up, the top comes off. And here is your 45 samples. That's gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. So as I said before, there are gonna be 15 from the men's range, 15 from the women's range of fragrances or that are marketed towards women. And then 15 of their uh, universal fragrances as well that include fragrances from the, uh, the library collection, uh, fragrances like Boundless, Material, and Meander. Uh, those fragrances as well so again i'm super excited now it looks like this is the big announcement here the four 
new unreleased fragrances from Amouage, as I'm looking in here, is going to be called Search, Lineage, Guidance, and Purpose. So, a lot of these fragrances I have smelled before, uh, so I'm going to be kind of spraying those four here live on this video so I can give you guys my opinion on these four unreleased fragrances from Amouage. Now, like I said before, you guys know I'm a huge fan of Amouage. One of the things I was going to do is talk about some of my favorites from the range. My top five usually doesn't really change. Of course, we have Reflection Man, which I absolutely love. This will always be in my top five from uh, Amouage. Of course, you guys know I've talked about this one a lot here recently, which is probably my favorite Amouage, favorite Amouage fragrance. This is Journey Man. The rose uh, and incense based fragrance here. Of course, I love this one. This is Lyric. This got me into uh, enjoying rose fragrances. Uh, this is uh, Interlude Black Iris, which is, of course, uh, kind of, I would say, kind of a flanker to the original Interlude Man, but I love this one more. It's a little bit sweeter, to me, a little bit more wearable uh, than the original Blue Beast. And Jubilation 25. Probably outside of Reflection Man, the most popular fragrance from the range. This to me is what Amouage fragrance is all about. The spices, and it just really has that, you know, Middle, Middle Eastern kind of flair to it. I love this particular fragrance. And then, of course, one of the newcomers that I have to mention is Dia Man. This is probably one of the most unlike, quote unquote, Amouage fragrances, but one that I personally love because of that plum and peony combination. And as it always is the case with me with Amouage fragrances, one that has really been moving up my list as of late, just the way that Journeyman did, is this one, it's Sunshine Man. Immortel Brandy, Orange Brandy Accord in here. This stuff is fantastic, especially in cold weather. Oh my God, this is so good. It's moving up my list right now as we speak. So anyway, let's get to the new, the four new releases. And I'm gonna start with, this one is called Search, okay? I don't try to search, show the samples because it's hard to see them, but maybe let's see if the camera will pick this up, maybe. Yep, there we go. Search from Amouage. So let's just give it a spray, man. These four new ones, I wanna see what they smell like. Give you guys a quick first impressions on them. I have high hopes because I, I'm a big fan of the brand, so let's see. Oh my gosh. This is good, man. This is really good. I, I, I don't, there's like a nice, there's a little bit of smokiness in here. I don't know what it's coming from. I don't have any notes. But the open is a beautiful citruses to me. Citruses, maybe some bergamot here. I'm getting something a little spicy here as well. A little bit smoky. But I definitely get some citruses, a nice citrus opening. So this to me, search is gonna be one that could probably be a good signature scent because I already get, again, that nice blast of uh, freshness and kind of a citrus uh, opening here. Lemon, bergamot, a little bit of smoke here as well. I don't know exactly what that is. I don't know if it's incense, although that most of their fragrances have incense. It could be incense. It could be like an orbinum, orbinum note in here. Maybe some saffron. I, I'm not sure exactly what the notes, but this is really good. I think this is going to be a great signature scent. That one is called Search. My goodness, that's good. That is really good. Um, and I'm not surprised. Uh, the next one here is called uh, Lineage. I'm going, I'm going to be really excited for these to actually come in full presentation. I'm not sure what the bottles are going to look like. Um, but let's see what lineage smells like. <clears throat> I 
Oh, I see what they're doing here. They're doing some... These are going to be good signature scents, man. These are going to be fragrances you can wear year-round. This is good. This is good. I get this almost... The smell of uh, eucalyptus or pine, maybe? I'm kind of getting that. Yeah, this definitely has to be eucalyptus or pine and has a nice woody backbone to it, like maybe some uh, gaik or cedar wood. That's what I'm picking up here. Maybe some angelica. I know that none of these notes are probably right. But if the pine is in here, it definitely has pine in it. Like a pine eucalyptus kind of fragrance. So it's kind of invigorating and woody, spicy. This is called Lineage. Ooh, yeah. Definitely got pine in there. It has to have pine. Uh, pine needles or either pine is in that. That's Lineage. Uh, then we have Guidance, which is this one right here. All right, so let's see what Guidance smells like. Oh yeah. There's a fruitiness to this one, but it's not like a super sweet. Maybe like a strawberry, maybe. Ooh, I like this one. I like this one. I don't know if I like so far. Which what was the first one? Search. Yeah, I like this one though. This has a nice. Nice fruity opening. There's something kind of green in this one as well. Um, this is good, man. Green, citrusy, a little fruity. Again, something like a, a like a strawberry. Maybe I'm picking up strawberry, raspberry. Nice clean woods with a nice green body to it. Yep, so that one is called Guidance, and the last one we have is called Purpose. So let's see what Purpose smells like. Okay, this one is called Purpose. Let's see. I don't even know how to describe this one, but I can tell you that it's good. It's very, this one is the most amouage, like if you think traditional amouage kind of fragrance DNAs, this one is more, yeah. All four of these are good, man. All right guys, so based on what I've just sampled with these four new creations, I cannot wait until these things come out so I can see the bottle presentation and the whole nine. I can tell you right now that the fragrances themselves are absolutely dynamite. All four of them um, definitely have that amouage quality uh, that I'm accustomed to smelling. So I'm looking very forward to, I think, 2023 when these four new creations are going to come to market and you guys will have a chance yourself to put your nose on them like I had the pleasure of doing just now. If you guys are interested in picking up one of the uh, collector's boxes and sampling the fragrances for yourself, they do have four, again, different presentations on these new collector's uh, sets. And uh, you can head over to Amouage and pick them up. I think they're retailing for 395 bucks, but you get a lot of fragrance, you know, for 395 uh, bucks. Again, 45 samples at 2 ml uh, per, uh, per sample. So that's a nice sampler set and a way to really kind of go through uh, the collection of fragrances and find the ones that may work for you as well um but yeah guys that's it man i thank you guys for your time i thank you for your attention today and i kind of brought you in with me as i sampled went through and kind of sampled the new four new creations that will be uh, unreleased creations uh that will be coming out in 2023 from uh the brand of Amouage. um as always i sincerely appreciate your time and your attention to these videos i know you guys don't have to watch but you do and i sincerely appreciate that 
And don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you're sharing these videos out to some other folks that you think could use this information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side.